Hello, family, and here we are for another edition of the Weekend Update. Welcome! <laughs> I hope you've had a fabulous Friday, and if your Friday has not been so fabulous, I hope that your Friday has had a fabulous you. Let's jump into it, shall we? Amen. We got a busy weekend this weekend, y'all. Um, kicking off tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. with our uh, Saturday morning prayer session. And then at 9.30 a.m., we have our blood drive. Uh, yes, you heard it right. Our blood drive. Y'all need to go grab a steak right now, eat you some molasses, whatever you need to do to make sure that your um, blood content is up so you can give and be successful. We heard Tuesday night um, about what we've accomplished over the last uh, I don't, 20 years, or, or give or take, 18 to 20 years of doing blood drives. Um, you guys have done a phenomenal job. Uh, you've saved a lot of lives. So let's not stop now. Let's keep going. We got an opportunity to save someone's physical life. Uh, one pint of blood saves three lives, guys. Never forget that, all right? So come on out. If you haven't already scheduled your appointment, make sure you come on out to the church and give that pint of blood. Save three lives real quick, like, all right? Um, next, we have loads of love, y'all. It's going down tomorrow. It's going down when? Tomorrow. We're excited about it. It's an outreach um, opportunity that we have been uh, preparing for. You guys did a great job as far as donations. Um, I believe we had somewhere in the neighborhood of about $450 in donations. Uh, kudos to you. Woo! All right. Um, but we're not going to stop there. We got some more stuff planned uh, in, in the future that's going to uh, in include more outreach opportunities and we want you to be a part of it let's raise that number every time that we um, do a donation let's raise that number let's 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 bring it up take it up a whole nother notch uh, so we can reach more people and let them know hey day spring is here we love you and we just want to see you succeed we want to see you get to know the same Jesus that we know we want you to experience that same wonderful life that we experience because day spring membership has what kingdom privileges and you know this, man. All right. So, those of you who have volunteered, you got your text message today as to uh, what time to meet tomorrow um, wearing the day spring attire. Uh, so, we can go over some last minute stuff, give you uh, as far as the plan and what you need to know going into that event tomorrow. We're so, so excited to be able to go out and reach the community on another level. Like I said, we're not preaching. We're not laying on hands. We're just going to be of service. All right. Um, now, just just in case you were wondering, uh, we ain't touching nobody clothes. Now, we, that, that, no, mm -mm. no, no. What we're going to do is we're going to give them uh, some detergent materials, uh, some uh, information about the ministry, and we're going to pay. We're going to pay for their laundry to be done. Um, they're going to still wash their own clothes. We're just going to make sure they don't have to come out of pocket for it. Amen? All right. Sunday, our usual awesome off the chain 9 a.m. Sunday morning worship experience is going down. All right. Uh, you don't want to miss it. It is amazing. You can catch it live and in person. And if you're out of town, you can catch it online. Live and online. <laughs> okay? Uh, so you don't want to miss that at 9 a.m. And then uh, tomorrow is going to be round two of the COVID vaccinations. Okay? Um, from that first group, the first one we did, I think it was Valentine's Day, February 14th. Uh, now it's time for them to come back and get their second shot. So those of you who were on that volunteer committee um, in the previous time, be aware that, hey, it's time to do it again. Uh, you guys have done a phenomenal job. Uh, the hospital has commended you on your efforts and how nice you are. And um, all the day spring, uh, they're super excited about how we opened our doors and our arms to such an event as this because, it again, it's another form of outreach. Hey, we're reaching out to let people know we're here and we believe God. Amen. All right. So we got that going on tomorrow. 
feel free to dress down if you want to on Sunday. You know, it's going to be a long day for some. If you don't, if you want to wear your three piece and be dressed to the nines, hey, do you? Um, <laughs> whatever makes you comfortable. And that doesn't just go for this Sunday. That's any Sunday, y'all. Um, you know, Bishop's, one of his favorite phrases is that was then, this is now. So, yeah, the days uh, gone are the days of I have to be dressed to the nines every Sunday. Ain't nobody going to look at you sideways if you just feel like putting on a sweatshirt and some jeans. It's okay. I promise. It's okay. <laughs> I know it's been a long time uh, since we've heard anything like that, but hey, that was then. This is now. Um, all right, so... I think that I have covered everything for this weekend. Like I said, it is a jam-packed weekend. We're excited because we get to serve the community while serving God. Listen, y'all, I'm going to get out of here. Y'all continue to have a wonderfully amazing weekend. And just by chance, if your weekend seems to slip up and want to act a fool, don't you do that. You make sure that you have an amazing you in your weekend. All right. God bless you. We love you. And we can't wait to see you next time. Peace. Hey guys, I forgot. Hey, you got to spring forward this weekend. Saturday night before you go to bed, don't forget to set your clock forward one hour because if you don't, you're going to be late for church. Set your clocks forward one hour before going to bed Saturday night so that you can be on time for our 9 a.m. worship experience on Sunday. I think that's it. <laughs>